Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of Gizmo Joe. Today, I have a Bluetooth mouse for you. Now, um, I mentioned those of you who have seen the keyboard video that I put up on the, the Universal Bluetooth keyboard uh, know that uh, I went to the States recently to visit my family for the holidays and stuff, and I wanted something uh, that I could do some work on my Android tablet with, um, and I wanted a keyboard. And I was really, really impressed with that. But I also wanted a mouse. Um, I wanted something that was thin, that was light, uh, and preferably had a rechargeable battery. So I found this guy on Amazon. It is the Fenny Fox or Fenifox. I'm not really sure how you pronounce that. Uh, but this guy, um, real cheap. It was only about 15 bucks, maybe even cheaper than that. I can't really remember. Uh, but as you can see down here, it's a uh, you know, mini Bluetooth mouse. Works with an Android tablet. And... Yeah, the box pretty nondescript. Uh, you know, you got a couple instruction manuals, and you got a charging cable in there, and that's about it. Uh, so again, this is the mouse itself. Uh, it's pretty thin. Um, I thought it would be thinner, um, but you know, for what it is, I'm pretty happy with it. I was able to slide it in a pouch in my bag. I didn't really know it was there. Uh, this guy is very, very light, um, and again, it does have a rechargeable battery built into it so you won't have to be swapping out any double A's or triple A's or anything like that uh, so just quickly on the front there you can see that's a uh, micro USB charging port so that's how you charge this guy up you have your left and right click you also have a scroll wheel which is pretty low profile and it actually works as that third mouse button as well so you can press that in and uh, that's your third mouse button as well as a scroll wheel. Uh, you can see that this has, it's a very reflective sort of surface, picks up a lot of uh, fingerprints. I would have liked it if it was just a, uh, a matte black color, but they went for this shiny thing probably to, you know, offset or have a bit of contrast with the rest of the body, which is a matte black mouse. Um, on the underside, you have your uh, lens there, the laser. Uh, you have an on off switch. You have the Bluetooth connection button, and these LEDs light up when you're trying to pair it. And then you got a DPI button, so if you you can you know presumably use it on different services. I pretty much just used it on a desk uh, and also a tray table in an airplane, and it worked all right. So I didn't have any issues there. Um, now this particular mouse works with. Uh, Windows and Android. Um, I've read some of the comments on Amazon saying that people have had trouble um, connecting it to Mac OS and iOS. Um, so I mean, if they're to be believed, then maybe you steer clear of this one. But uh, I use pretty much Windows and Android uh, stuff, so I wasn't really too concerned with that. Um, I'm happy with the performance. I mean, like I said, for it was about twelve to fifteen dollars, somewhere in that range, and that's U.S. dollars. Uh, it performs really well. I mean, you know, it is a mouse. There's not much all you can say about it, but it connected really easily, and it's got that built-in battery, uh, which is uh, the clincher for me, as well as the fact that it's got this low-profile design. Some people don't like it because it's not very ergonomic, so you're not going to get something that feels very nice in the hand. So I found that while I was using it on the plane for extended periods of time I you know my hands started to cramp up a little bit but you know just did a few of these and I was okay so uh, the Finifox Bluetooth mouse uh, I, I like it I think it's uh, well worth the money on Amazon I think it gets pretty mediocre reviews it only has about three or three and a half stars out of five uh, and again a lot of those have to do with connection issues that people had but in my experience I didn't have any problems I was able to click it on hit that connect button it showed up in my in my Windows computers as well as my Android tablets and even my phone I tested it on and there was no problem. Uh, the mouse cursor appears up on the screen of the tablet or the phone almost immediately and you're able to use it. No real issue. Right click works, left click works as expected. Uh, so that's going to do it. Just a short video today. Just uh, again, that's the Fenifox Bluetooth mouse. You can get that on Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description in case you guys want to, you know, purchase it or read a little more about it. But um, that's going to do it for today. Uh, thanks for tuning in, and as always, you know, like, comment, subscribe, uh, share on social media. Anything you guys do helps the channel, whether it's giving me feedback or you know sharing it with other people. It, it really helps me out. So thanks again for watching, and I will catch you next time. This is Gizmo Joe signing off.